T minus three minutes and counting. The liquid oxygen valve for filling the external tank is closed and pressurization has begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited to three minutes and 36 seconds. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds, and the caution and warning has been cleared, and the gaseous oxygen vent arm presently being retracted. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds in counting. The main engines have now been moved to the start position and the astronauts have cleared the caution and warning memories and all systems are verified normal for launch. T minus two minutes. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. The computers will automatically verify the readiness of the main engines at the one minute point. T minus 90 seconds and counting. T minus one minute, 15 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank now at flight pressure. Coming up on the one minute point, T minus one minute and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water system now armed. And the hydrogen igniters under the orbiter's engines have been armed. These devices ensure that any hydrogen is ignited uh, prior to building up. T minus 45 seconds. Just seconds away from switching command of the countdown to the onboard computers. T minus 35 seconds. T minus 31 seconds and we're switching control. We have go for auto sequence start. And we have the sequencer on the orbiter now controlling the final seconds to launch. 20 seconds and counting. The body flap and speed bake in launch position. T minus 12, 11, 10. Have go for main engine start. T minus 6, we have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Atlantis. A new orbiter joins the shuttle fleet and it has cleared the tower. Program initiated, crew confirms roll maneuver.
standby for separation. Crew confirms PC less than 50. And we have solid rocket separation. Guidance con converging as program, velocity 5,500 feet per second, altitude 28 nautical miles. Downrange distance 34. Three engines still running 104%. Velocity 5,800 feet per second. First stage performance nominal. Crew advised of uh, nominal first stage performance. Two engine transatlantic aboard capability. Atlantis now capable of reaching a transatlantic aboard on two engines if that should become necessary. Velocity 6,200 feet per second. Altitude 38 nautical miles. Downrange distance 58 nautical miles. Three engines 104%. System's looking good at this time. At approximately the four minute point uh, that we will reach the negative return call. At that point, the Atlantis no longer capable of doing a return to launch site aboard. Return status and mission control underway. Four hundred feet per second, altitude forty-eight nautical miles, downrange distance ninety-five. Three engines running one hundred four percent. All systems continue to look good. Uh, standing by for negative return. Crew advised negative return. Atlantis no longer capable of returning to launch site in the event of an abort. All systems and mission control give a go. Four minutes, 15 seconds. Velocity, 8,800 feet per second. Altitude, 54 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 143 nautical miles. Three engines still performing normally. Three good APUs and three good fuel cells. and they go to press to main engine cutoff. That is a uh, capability of reaching a normal main engine cutoff should there be a single engine failure. Five minutes, velocity 10,600 feet per second, altitude 57 nautical miles, downrange distance 209 nautical miles. systems on board the Atlantis continue to look good at this time. Five minutes, 35 seconds, velocity 12,300 feet per second, altitude 58 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 269 nautical miles. Standing by for the call for single engine transatlantic uh, capability. Atlantis uh, forward velocity now enables it to reach a transatlantic abort if that would become necessary in the case of two engines out. All engines continuing to perform normally at this time. All systems on board Atlantis look good. Velocity 14,300 feet per second. Altitude 58 nautical miles. Downrange distance 340 nautical miles. Standing by for a single engine Presto Mico call. At that point, the Atlantis uh, capable of reaching normal main engine cutoff on only one engine. Guidance officer reports navigation is good. Velocity 16,300 feet per second, altitude 57 nautical miles.
crew given the call up for single engine press to main engine cutoff, capable of reaching main engine cutoff on single engine if that's necessary. Crew read up a change in the earlier call. Uh, after analysis of the data, the first stage performance uh, indicated low. That just affects uh, the um, later trajectory and the adjustments made. Uh, engines, three engines now throttling down, throttling to maintain uh, three Gs, velocity 2100. 21,800 feet per second, altitude 57 nautical miles, downrange distance 605. minutes 30 seconds velocity 25,000 feet per second standing by for main engine cutoff command main engine cutoff confirmed standing by for separation of the external tank altitude 60 nautical miles velocity 26,000 feet per second <laughs> 